we're gonna try and finish up as much as what we can i might be tired tomorrow at school but it'll be okay they'll get over it never mind i have no phone service forgot about that well looks really good though really healthy i guess my gamble paid off So uh, I am currently over in Illinois. It is like eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock now. And I've been up since like 6.30, six ish, something like that. I don't know. Got my truck, drove off, drove over here. Uh, I'm up in Robinson right now, looking, trying to decide if I'm gonna come up here and spray or if I'm gonna stay around home and spray or go to Russellville. It is still a little bit wet up here, but I'd like to get my uh, Metribusing down up here as quick as I can, so we'll see. But I know for sure I do need to get going. I need to get in the fields and get doing something. So I mean, today is about the only day this week that's going to be dry. It's not going to rain. Wednesday it's not going to rain either. But I don't know how much rain we're going to get tomorrow. So I'll check that out real quick. Actually, now that I think about it. Never mind. I have no phone service. Forgot about that. Well, anyways, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing today. Just gonna, or right now, I'm just gonna look around this morning. And then hopefully I'm gonna go home, fill up my water truck with water, and get going. Because I need to get going. It's supposed to be warm for the next, uh, or it's supposed to be warm now, so that'll help out a lot too. Um, yeah. And then hopefully we'll get rolling and I can start cranking out videos again. I miss, I miss cranking out videos all the time, but, uh, yeah trying to respect or I'm trying to go to school work and do all this at the same time so yeah I got my night class done now so it'll be a lot better I have a lot more free time that's another three or four hours a night so um, yeah hopefully we can have hopefully we can continue doing this I like doing it too much to not do it so so uh, we're down here by my cousins right now going to see if there's any dry ground for anhydrous so the guys can put on anhydrous and to see if I can spray or not down here we'll see I, I hope I can do something man I want to get in the field I want to get going it's like a dying urge like I want to go oh man so we are down here at Steckler's now we're gonna look at spraying this weed again with some nitrogen because it needs some nitrogen, so. I'm gonna walk out here a little ways off the road, probably down here in this valley, and uh, check and see if we got any disease in it. Uh, disease pressure, bugs, insects, whatever we can find, we're gonna try and find it, so. Plus, we gotta kill some of these weeds that are out here. There's some cockleburs coming up, so. Yeah, little guys. They're there. <sighs> Looks really good though, really healthy. I guess my gamble paid off. Yeah, we're good, see? Looks good there. Walk out here a little farther, take another little piece, and yeah, you just kinda do that all the way across the field. Look at look it over. You want it to be nice and green and not have any problems with it. Not have any insects on the leaves or anything like that. What's that? There's something there. Where'd it go? Hmm. Nothing. So yeah, we'll probably come down here and spray this. I gotta go get some chemical. I gotta call up my uh, dealer get some stuff and we should be good to go but man this wheat looks pretty so pretty I love wheat it just always looks so green and it's like so close together and then you got the old work truck sitting up there on the hill so yeah we're gonna get fungicide to put on we're gonna spray harmony and 
uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about these weeds. I'm not sure on that yet, so I'm not gonna say what I'm putting on because I don't know what I'm putting on yet. And then I'll let you guys know once I get that figured out. But yeah, we found some dry ground. We're gonna go run. Oh, that might even be dry enough for him to come down and put any hydrus on it. We're going for it down here. I'm running uh, seven products right now. I'll give you guys a list of them real quick, if you'd like. Um, I'm running a Copper, Preference, Harmony, Grizzly 2, Monsoon, and yeah, N24D. So yeah, we're running a lot of stuff, and Harmony. So uh, this is basically the fungicide, herbicide, and insecticide pass on the wheat. It is essential for the wheat, so we gotta get it on. Hopefully I can get as much of it done today as what I can so far. I've only got about 115 acres, 120 acres done. Uh, it is like also six o'clock. I didn't really get running until about four because I had to get everything put together. But we're gonna try and finish up as much as what we can. I might be tired tomorrow at school, but it'll be okay. They'll get over it. Um, right it's gonna rain tomorrow so we're gonna try and get as much as done as what we can just simply for the fact of the matter that I mean I, I don't know what else to do I gotta get done uh, I can't sit around and wait for perfect dry weather and dry fields and everything all the time so oh well gotta do it I guess but there's only about a 60% chance of rain tomorrow it's supposed to be really scattered um, it's very dry today actually in the field so that's why we're going for it. They are putting on anhydrous, or they was. I don't think they still are. I think they ran out of dry ground. But the good thing about most of our wheat is most of our wheat is in sand ground. So it dries out very quick. So, yeah. I like it. Now turn around again. And I can run faster with this because we are not where we're running 10 gallon the acre and we're not spraying anything that we're worried about drift. So I'm running my pressures real low and running fast, trying to get done. So yeah. Yeah, that's my music, don't worry. I still got my Connect Mobile on there. So I am gonna go home now. Uh, I just finished up all of ours. Uh, I got Jim Miller's to do whenever it dries out again after tomorrow's rain. And then we'll be done with wheat until we got a harvest, hopefully. Ugh. And I got something on my face and it burns. So I gotta go home and wash it off. I don't even know what it is. So yeah, but sprayers put up. Hey guys, gonna add this into the video. Um, I ended up just having a slight sunburn. As you can tell, this is two days later and I still have it. So be careful out in the sun and remember to wear sunscreen, kiddos. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's a little bit shorter video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, be careful with chemicals. Don't get burnt too bad. But yeah, I just had a sunburn and wind burn from the last weekend, so yeah. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Um, also, I think it's just my sunburn, honestly, that's making me burn a little bit, nothing too extreme. But also, guys, I do want to address something, because after Ross filling up them tanks the other day, there was somebody that said that you need to be wearing a mask while putting anhydrous in the tank. There is no mask that's going to stop anhydrous from getting into your face or anything like that if it sprays out except for a gas mask. There's enough valves and stuff there that the only way that um, gas will come out is through the, um, if one of the hoses breaks or if you don't get the thing on right, which I mean, we're all trained in this stuff to do it. So we have to legally by the state, but just for to address that. And I also got a comment about me not feeling well the other day and still being at the farm. Guys, I've had COVID twice. All right, I've, 
I've had COVID twice. I know that. And I also know that pretty well everybody that I'm around on a daily basis has had COVID. So, yeah. Not making excuses or anything. Just stating facts. But I'm home now, so I am going to go to bed. And I will catch up with you guys tomorrow.